Hey guys, Hazen here with ABC Window Cleaning Supply. In this video, we're going to be talking about hydrophobic versus hydrophilic glass and how to go about cleaning each type. On one hand, we have hydrophilic glass. Hydrophilic means water loving. And this type of glass is a water-fed window cleaner's dream. When you go to rinse the window off, it's going to sheet down in a beautiful thorough rinse pattern. It's going to be very, very easy to get a quick rinse. On the other hand, we have hydrophobic glass. Hydrophobic means water hating. So with this type of glass, the water molecules are going to want to tend to stick to themselves rather than the glass. And because of that, when you go to rinse the glass, you're going to see the formation of rivers of water. And these rivers make it really hard to get a proper rinse. So when you're going to rinse these, you need to use the appropriate jets. For hydrophilic glass, the best type of jet to use is going to be a pencil jet. This is because you have two nice streams of water flooding onto the glass. It's readily accepted by the glass and dispersed across it. You get that nice sheet. If you tried to do that with hydrophobic glass, you would not have good results at all. For this type of glass, you're going to want to either use fan jets or a rinse bar that already disperses that water across the glass from the start and gives you a much better rinse pattern to get the job done quickly and easily. Now, I wish there was a way to look at a piece of glass and say, that's hydrophobic or that's hydrophilic, but there really isn't. Until you get that water on the glass and you see the pattern of either beads or a sheet of water coming down, you're really not going to know exactly what you're working with. So it's best to check it out before you get started and see which type of jets are going to work best for you. So we talked a little bit about the differences in hydrophobic versus hydrophilic glass and the best types of jets to get a good rinse on each. However, there is more to this. And if you'd like to learn more, please click the link in the description below. Thanks so much for watching.